Okay, we have a situation that I have never seen before. We have some concrete that failed completely when we're making a baluster. For some reason, it just uh, it didn't want to hold on. So I'm not sure why that is, but I've never seen concrete do this before, so it's brand new to me put water in it, mixed it like the rest of it, but it didn't cure like that. It didn't cure at all. Might have something to do with the cold weather, or it might be the bag of mix. I don't know. But that's going to set me back. This other one did the same thing. It's, uh, I got it out carefully, but it's, it may not hold together or be usable either. Just touching it, it falls apart. So, I'll make some more with a different bag. And hopefully it'll work this time. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make sure this thing on top and bottom is plumb by using a, a plumb stick and a level. And then uh, I'll just put some water using the, the mortar bag to squeeze mortar in the top right here. And then this one straight will be come to the test. Okay, this one ballast tape is finished. All of it. And you know part of putting in these ballasters is getting it getting tops of them. It's always kind of tough to mud the top, but you know you got it done. It takes a lot of time. Like you just said on the radio, it's a time waste. But you do a lot of for this. These over here, these are going to be. Wait, hold on. What's going on, buddy? Huh? What's you up to? A little worried about the weather today, huh? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, Alright, closing in on 5 o'clock today, Thursday. I'm going to start taking a couple of pictures, uh, make a little move. Primer on the balustrade. Uh, there's a lot of pack jams with what we're having to do. Pretty much. Got stuff and everything. That's where we're at. So the key is the link. We'll put the link in the mud. And what we do is we're able to fix these little imperfections right, right there. And these light right there. There. A lot of work goes going into patching these. We put a layer across here, and hopefully it's where you can get it looking more like that. And what we're gonna have to do is still gonna have to come back with some caulking and some other types of filler before painting these. But that's where we're at today. The capitals are gonna have to be done yet with a one-inch wire brush so that they can be spray painted. But it's gonna definitely going to look nice up here and need, need time to move on.